Warning, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game that is rated M for Mature. This video does contain violence, guns, and blood. Please be advised. If you are a younger viewer, I do not recommend playing this game or watching this video without parental permission. Thanks and enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've had some difficulties setting up my recording software, apparently, but I think we're in business, so welcome back to another video. It's been a couple of weeks, but I came home from college, so I decided to record something. We are playing Red Dead Redemption 2 instead of Star Stable Online, which is why I included that warning at the beginning of the video. So again, if you are a younger viewer, just please be aware that there will be some violence in this game. It is rated M4 Mature. Anyway, we are going to be playing the online version um, instead of the story mode because I wanted to show you guys my character. I haven't played a whole lot of online because I only play alone. Uh, due to like none of my friends having this game on PC. Uh, so every time I try to play, I usually end up getting murked by other players because people in this game are incredibly toxic. So hopefully that will happen today. Hopefully we can do a little bit of hunting. There are some uh, clothing items that I wanted to craft. So we're going to go check those out, see what I need for those. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, don't mind the fox pelt that's on the back of my horse. Uh, I put it there because I killed a fox, so I needed some place to store the pelt. Um, I need to go over here and talk to this guy because I need to see what I need to make a couple of items. Ooh, whoa, my horse did not want to stop there for a second. Alright, let's talk to this guy. This is Gus. He comes with the Naturalist DLC. Um, and you can uh, buy and sell stuff from him. So I need to look at the clothing. Um, so I wanted these gauntlets. I need two perfect rabbit pelts for them. And then I have these pants. I can craft them, but the only problem is, is I need money. And I spent all of my money on my outfit that I'm wearing. I bought it a couple of days ago. Uh, forgetting that I needed money to get these items that I wanted. So that kind of sucks, but um, that's okay. Uh, so we will need to save up some money, but I'm at least going to go get the rabbits and maybe we can hunt around for stuff to like sell to him so I can get uh, some more money. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started with that. Alright, so I've hopefully found a good hunting spot for us. It's near Emerald Ranch. Usually, at least in story mode, a lot of deer tend to spawn around there. And it's also like a very, uh, uh, what's the word I want to use? Like meadowy area. So maybe we'll be able to find some rabbits there. Um, so that's where we're going to head. So there's actually a little story behind the character that I'm playing. Um, you may or may not have already guessed, but she is a Native American. The reason I did this is because, first of all, this game is set in like the Wild West era, so of course like there were a lot of Native Americans back then, and so I wanted to make one because everybody else's character looks relatively the same. Mine kind of stands out, which is nice, um, but also my mom's side of the family is Cherokee Native American, and um, I wanted to make my character kind of reflect my heritage. I've never really done that in a game before, so I thought it would be a cool idea. And I really like my character. I, I really am <laughs> very proud of how she turned out. It's really hard to make good looking characters in this game. So I'm really glad that uh, she turned out really nicely and I'm really proud of her. So yeah, uh, her name's Enola. That means uh, black fox in the Cherokee language. Um, anyway, here's some deer. We'll just go ahead and maybe get one of these. Oh, I forgot to mention before we get started. Uh, this is my horse, Soaring Eagle. She is an Irish cob, um, for my SSO players. They call them something different in this game, but I don't want to say the name because if some people find it offensive, so we're just going to call it by the SSO name, which is Irish Cobb. She came with the Naturalist DLC as well, so this is like the newest horse breed in the game. 
she's very pretty and she looks a lot like the horse that I have um, in Star Stable that is also an Irish cob. Anyway, let's uh, see if we can get one of these deer here. I use a bow because it's I find it really easy to hunt with. It's very powerful and uh, not loud, so I can usually get a few of the same animals in, in the area. Okay, they know I'm here, so I need to be fast. Perfect. Okay. Oh shoot, it didn't die. Oh no. I'm sorry. Oh, it's not dead. I'm sorry. There you go. I'm sorry. I know they're they're fake, but like I just feel really bad when stuff like that happens. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and skin it here so we don't have to carry it with us. That way we can get more pelts. Unfortunately, I because I had to shoot the deer a couple of times. I don't think this pelt is gonna be perfect, but that's okay. Uh, it'll still get us a little bit of money. So, let's call our horse over. So I did at least get some meat as well, which is nice because you can cook that and then eat it and it restores your cores, which is how you maintain your health. Actually, speaking of cores, my horse's cores are kind of low, so I'm going to uh, take care of her real quick. Also, I have one more level until we're fully bonded and she reaches her max stats. So I should probably take care of her for that as well. So let's go ahead and give her some food. Okay, her cores are restored. We'll give her a little pat too. Okay, that's good. I probably should have done that before I started, but I was just in the moment. Okay, let, let's see if we can find some rabbits. It's dark again. The day-night cycle on this game is crazy. I wish it was... Maybe not real time, but that it didn't cycle through so often um, because it's getting dark and it's really hard to see in the dark. So I think what I'm going to do instead while we wait on daytime, instead of just like waiting around and not recording anything because I'd be waiting forever. Oh my gosh, there's a rabbit. Um, okay, let's maybe try to pause and see if I can get him. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do, um, until it gets daytime again and makes hunting a little easier, is I'm going to go to Emerald Ranch and try to complete some of my collection for the Naturalist DLC with the farm animal set, uh, just so I can turn that in and maybe get some money so I can buy some of the stuff I need for this, um, like the pants and the gauntlets that I want. I don't know where that rabbit went, so I guess we're gonna we're gonna move on, because I don't want to waste all night looking for him. So I think that's what we're gonna do while we wait. I hate the day-night cycle; it's so obnoxious. I don't remember it being this severe in Red Dead Online, or I mean in the story mode, but maybe that's because I don't really need the light quite as much as I do in the online version. So we're going to head this way to um, Emerald Ranch and hopefully complete or get most of that set completed. Alright, so uh, I should be able to use one of these. So I have to study it. So that updated my field guide. That's the same kind. Are these all the same kind? This is the... Oh, this is different. Okay, when you study him. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I did not expect that to happen. Uh, where'd he go? No, come back. Okay. Okay. I don't know why he knocked me over. I thought he was going to attack me, but he didn't. Oh my gosh! Stupid ox. Okay, let me... eat something to restore my health. Okay, well that's obnoxious. I don't know if I was able to study that chicken yet. Let's see. I think there's sh some sheep over here that hopefully won't headbutt me to death. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. More sheep. Are these different? No, these are the same. That sucks. Here are these more sheep. Yup. <laughs> okay. We might have to go to a few different farms, but I'm not going to fill out that whole collection on camera or even for this video. But these are horses, so nothing we need in here. That might be it. That might be all I got for that collection. Which sucks. In fact, let's see what all I need for it. Just while we're here. While it's dark. While I can't see anything. Farmland habitats. So. Oh, so I need to study them a couple of times. I see. I see. Okay. Well, that sucks. <laughs> anyway. At least we have them in there. So I know. Um, I can do that later. Let's just see if it's pretty visible out here because we're not in the forest. Like, I can see stuff. So let's just maybe see if we can get another animal. There's something right there. Oh, are those wolves? Let's see. Oh, they're coyotes. Okay. What's that? Doe. Uh, those are pronghorns. Okay, let's see if we can maybe get a coyote. I don't know if they're going to attack me or not. I might die. <laughs> this might not be good. No, not again. Shoot. Where's the one that I hurt? It was a three star. Where's your little buddy? Dang it. That really sucks. I don't- Usually my arrows, like, they do a clean shot, but maybe I just need to get closer. Let's try this. Perfect. See, that's what I was trying to achieve. <laughs> Just a clean kill where it didn't hurt the animals. Why I did that? It was like a big shadow just came over. Okay. <laughs> that was what I was hoping for. Um, oh my gosh. This playthrough is a mess. I've like changed my plan like so many times of like what I'm gonna what I'm gonna hunt and stuff. Then I went to not hunting, and now I'm hunting again. I need to try to remember that to like aim for the, for the head, especially if I can get close enough. I need to also turn these pelts in, and sell them. But all right, let's see what else we can do. I don't want to do any of these stranger missions because they usually don't end well for me. <laughs> so. Oh, I know what I could do. There's a stable down here, so I can show you guys the horse that I really want. So let's go there. I recorded this scene already like twice, and now I have to do it again. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys the horses that I want. Um, so let's go ahead and look at them. I'm very annoyed. <laughs> So I'm going to go through this quickly. I also just wanted to show all my Star Stable viewers, which is probably the most of you watching, just how pretty these horses are in this game. They're amazing. I wanted to show you... Whoops. Not the Arabian. Uh, I wanted to show you, first of all, the Irish cobs. So there's this one, the one that I have, and then a couple other colors. This one's really pretty, and I might end up getting this one when I max out the naturalist roll. Um, but I really like that one. So the horse that I really want the most, I think, is in here. Yes. This Leopard Appaloosa, as I said, I played this, I played with this horse in story mode, and so it has a special place in my heart. It also fits my character really well, so I wanted that one. And then I've also been considering an American Paint. I really, really like this one. The only problem is, is I already have 
a black and white horse, and the horse that I want the most is black and white, so I don't know. But I know that this is a really sacred color to Native Americans, or not color, but like the pattern, like the the markings on it. I think it's called a medicine cap horse, but I'm not entirely sure. I could be wrong. You can correct me on that, but I think that they found this uh, pattern on a horse to be pretty like sacred or something. Uh, and then I really want the Tiger Stripe Bay Mustang. I tamed this horse in Red Dead, the story mode. So I have this, or I had it, I started over, so I don't have it anymore, but I did when I finished the game the first time. And then I really want this Dark Bay Turkoman. And then um, for a War Horse, I really want the Rose Gray Andalusian because it really looks like uh, the one on Star Stable, the one that I have, well, one of the ones that I have. I have a couple Andalusians. And then this Nakoda, I really like this one and it has pretty good stats. So um, those are the horses that I really want. Probably the one I want the most is that Appaloosa though, but I gotta wait a while to get it because I'm definitely not that rank yet. So let's, let's do some hunting again. We have all these pelts to turn in and I definitely want to sell some to get some more money. I love that those ducks just randomly spawned in. At least one of them did. Or at least it looked like it did. I think I see some deer over there. Oh, here's one right here. We'll just get this deer here. Is that a deer? It kind of looks like a... Oh, it's a buck. Okay. He's going to give me a poor pelt. It says that his pelt is one star... Which, that sucks, but I think the bucks I can get antlers from. So, we're just gonna... Oh, shoot. Lowered his head. Okay, I think that killed him. No! Oh my gosh, you've gotta be joking. Why is this a trend for me? I'm so sorry. Look, I promise... I promise I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm really not. I thought I was close enough. And I was going to shoot him in the head. But then he put his head back down. And I feel really bad now. <laughs> that is the third time this has happened in this video. At least I was able to finish him off and like that coyote. That made me sad. Oh my gosh. I know they're not real horses. Or not real. Not a horse. I would never try to kill a horse in this game. Yes, I got antlers from him. Anyways, I know they're not real animals, but I still feel bad. <laughs> There's some deer up there, so I think we're going to head up that way. Um, and then I'm going to see where I'm at in the video. I've recorded a lot, but I don't know how much of this is actually going in the video. Because there's been a lot that I've recorded, and I'm like, you know, this is not quality. I'm not putting this in the final product. So maybe this will be it if I feel like I have enough in the video but I'm not entirely sure that I do. Just because this has sucked. I needed a better structure. I thought that this would be interesting. In fact, I filmed this video a couple of times. Like I filmed it earlier this morning, but then I had to go renew my driver's license because I'm turning 21. And uh, so you need like a different license when that happens. <laughs> And then my mom and I ran a bunch of errands and we went to get a birthday cake for me and so I had to do this video all over again. How close am I going to be able to get to these guys? Oh shoot. Shh. You didn't see me. Please work so I don't have to... If she get- You've gotta be joking! Come on! I've never had this issue before. I've never had this problem. I swear. I'm getting so mad. I've- I've hunted several deer in this game before. And every time, it's a one-shot kill. I don't know if it's just where I'm shooting them. But like in real life, where I shot that horse, or not horse, oh my gosh, it is a deer. Where I shot that deer, it would have died in real life. I don't know if it's because I'm using a bow. I always use a bow to hunt. It always seems to go just fine. 
I really don't know. Okay, I'm just going to throw this pelt down because I don't need it. We are going to try for a headshot this time and hope for the best. See, this is what I want. How is that so hard to do? <sighs> All right. Oh, this, okay, perfect. This is a three star pelt. So I lucked out in that regard. And uh, I didn't make the animal suffer. <laughs> so we're gonna put this back on the horse. Okay. That uh, was not good. I can do better. I think I'm going to turn these back into him before something happens and I lose them all. All right. We have a long ride back to Gus. So let's, uh, why is, why is there so much stomping going on in my house? Okay. So, uh, anyway, we have a long ride back and I think I just saw a rabbit, but you know what? We've given up that we're, we're not hunting them anymore. I will do that later off camera. Maybe with some throwing knives instead. Anyway, do I have a story for you? On Monday, uh, a tornado touched down on campus where I live and knocked out the power for 30 hours. And oh boy, let me tell you, was that stressful. Not only did probably 10 trees on our campus fall, but uh, the power was out, as I said, and I had probably the busiest week that I'd had all semester, of course, when this happens. And I was not able to get a lot of my work done. I worked myself up into a very anxious mode. <laughs> my week has not been good, to say the least. I did end up managing to get my work done after I, uh, after the power came back on. It was so miserably hot. It was so hot. It was like in the 90s. And so we were out without AC. Couldn't turn a fan on or anything. It was miserable. We basically hung out in a car all day. Um, so yes, it was not a good time. I would never do that again. Um, and even though I got my work done later on when the power came back, it was very stressful. Um, I'm not a fan of storms or tornadoes for that matter, especially. And so it's nice that I can come home and uh, be here with my family and my dog and just relax and play some Red Dead. This has been very surprisingly soothing for me, despite the fact that I got frustrated at the fact that I wasn't one shot killing animals. Um, besides that, though, oh gosh, oh gosh, I almost ran over that rabbit. Besides that, though, this has been very calming for me, so I'm, gl I'm glad I can make this video, and I hope you, that you guys like it, because it's been a lot of fun to record. Uh, if you guys do enjoy this kind of content, let me know, and I can make some more Red Dead videos. Maybe we'll- maybe I'll even do a playthrough of the story mode, I don't know, because um, I'm not very far into it, so I wouldn't be opposed to starting it over again. Um, whoa, hello, there's an elk right there. Anyway, I would not be opposed to starting the story mode over again or just like playing some more Red Dead either online or story mode um, because it's fun and I really do enjoy this game a lot. It's probably, it's not my favorite game, but it's probably in my top three. See look, it's already becoming evening and I know I've cut out a lot of my recording because like in one clip it went from day to night and then it went from night to day. Uh, just because uh, I've been, like, editing throughout this. But, like, the day cycle. I've probably only been recording for, like, an hour or two. Maybe two. Maybe two hours. But it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. The, the day's night cycle needs to be better. Okay, so we're going to sell some of this stuff to him. This video is kind of all over the place. I need a more structured plan of what I'm going to do in the future. So hopefully I can uh, figure that out, sure, but let me turn these in and then I will close up the video. Look how dark it got that quickly. That's how long evening lasted. It was like 30 seconds. 
crazy, I swear. Anyway, we're gonna end this Star Stable style with me on my horse. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry this video was such a mess. It was mostly just me rambling about things that probably nobody cares about, but it was fun to make and if you guys want more Red Dead content, please let me know in the comments. I'd be more than willing to make more content like this. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop making Star Stable content. My next video will probably be Star Stable. I'm just a little burnt out on the game right now because I'm at in-game there's not much to do. but. Uh, let me know and I will gladly make more Red Dead content in the future if that is something that people are interested in. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye!